Hey everyone, it's Mike Ortega with Franco Ball Realty. Uh, today we're here in the village of Tequesta, here with my good friend Trevor Quainan and his company Perfect Pressure Cleaning. Today's video is going to be all about uh, paver driveways and uh, paver areas for that matter and how to uh, properly maintain them, clean them, and seal them. And I thought I'd bring Trevor because Trevor is an uh, industry professional in our area that does uh, phenomenal jobs with these types of projects. So today, Trevor, what do we need to do to learn about paver projects and how to properly maintain and seal? This is your specialty, so go ahead and share with us what you think. Uh, well, the biggest thing about pavers, um, as we were discussing before, is that the reason you put pavers down is for the aesthetic appeal. Okay, so they've got different color, different variations, different sizes, different patterns. And so to keep them looking nice, you have to properly care and maintain them. Sealing is the best way to do it. So how would you say, so somebody spends tens of thousands of dollars installing a new paver driveway, um, how often are they, need, are they needing to pressure clean them, keep them clean? And when do you suggest they seal them, just that way they have the, the best chance of having life expectancy? Uh, well, on the average, in Florida, pretty much any flat surface, you're usually going to clean once a year. Um, pavers, if you keep them sealed, uh, usually that's, you have to do it as less, you know, less often. So probably every couple years. Um, sealing, if you want to maintain the wet look, you know, so it's got a little bit of a sheen to it, I recommend doing it, especially on a driveway, like every two years. Uh, as far as the sealer goes, the sealer we use, which is a high-quality two-part urethane, um, is going to protect for five years plus. So it'll keep, it'll protect the pavers. It'll stop them from eroding and the color from bleaching out. But if you really want them to look nice, every two years is the way to go as far as sealing. Okay. Now, on this particular driveway and uh, front porch area, there is an area that we're going to we're going to show you right now that uh, Trevor's going to point out what happens if you don't seal the, the pavers uh, soon enough. And you can see the, the big difference between what they look like when they were new and what it looks like after they've been weathered for a little bit. So let's go take a look. All right, so here I'm going to show you why it's a good idea to get your pavers sealed within the first year of putting them down. So if you look down here, you can see how rich the color still is right here and how uniform it looks. Versus over here, you can see all this aggregate and all these different colors and variations and rough textures starting to pop through the paver. And the reason that's happening is because here it's getting covered by this eave which means it's not seeing any rain, it's not seeing any sun, it's not weathering. If you keep your pavers sealed, they will stay like this indefinitely, as long as you maintain that sealer. So if you want them to stay like this, get them sealed. Don't want them to look like this. So Trevor, as you mentioned, this is gonna be a two-day paver project here. Yes. Um, today is day one, doing all the preparatory work, and tomorrow's gonna be a lot of the finish work. Can you explain uh, to the viewers what exactly entails on day one and what happens on day two? Yeah, so basically day one, uh, we have to come get the pavers cleaned, get them prepped, as you said. Um, that What that entails is basically any any kind of mineral stains that might be on the pavers. We have to apply an acidic solution to break that down, be able to get those stains off. We chemically wash the pavers uh, with a chlorine solution, kill any mold and algae, and brighten them up, and then we thoroughly pressure them. When we do that thorough pressure cleaning, though, with, um, with high pressure surface uh, surface cleaners, problem is, is it evacuates a lot of the sand from in between the pavers. And it is very important to maintain the sand in between your paver joints because if you don't, that will eventually allow a channel for water to get in and start eroding the bedding underneath the pavers. So what we do is after tomorrow, um, we let it dry overnight, come back tomorrow morning, and then we re-sand all the joints. Put fresh sand into all the joints, broom and blow off all the excess, and then we seal with our seal. Now that helps lock the sand in. All right, well, as we mentioned, it's a two-day project, so today's only day one. Stay tuned, we're going to come back tomorrow and we'll show you the finished product. Here we are, back in Tequesta, day two of the Paver project. Again, here with Trevor Queenan and his guys. So as you can see behind us, today uh, is the next phase of sanding all the joints. And I'll let Trevor uh, expand on that a little bit more of why this is important in this project. So um, after we clean the pavers, we then re-sand all the joints, and this is probably commonly the most neglected step in the sealing process. A lot of companies don't do it uh, just because it's so laborious, as you can see. It takes a lot of work, time, and effort to make it happen. Um, and the reason it's so important, and you don't want to skip it, is because every time you get a rain, after the pressure cleaning, we remove a lot of the sand. Every time you get a rain, all that water will start to channel in between the joints if you remove a lot of the sand. When that happens, it'll start to erode the bedding underneath the pavers, and then you'll start to get areas that sink. And then you're going to have to pick the pavers up, re-bed, level and it's an entire maintenance process. So if you sand initially and then seal, it will help lock the sand in in the first place. You don't have to do it. All right, so it's definitely worthwhile to just do it now while you're doing the project. Absolutely. Don't so that way you're not going to go back afterwards, then you've created more problems that shouldn't exist. Exactly. 
Like I said, don't cut corners, do it right the first time. Excellent. That's great advice. Let's stay tuned for uh, part three when they get to sealing these papers. All right, part three here at our paper project in Tequesta. Uh, Trevor and his team did a great job. The driveway is now finished. They did all their pressure cleaning, all their sanding of the, the joints of the pavers, and then they finished their sealing process as well. Trevor, you guys did a great job. Thank you, sir. Uh, yeah, as Mike mentioned, it's a three-step process. you got to properly clean it. Then you have to sand all the joints, and then you have to seal. And a benefit of the sealer that we use, which again, as I mentioned before, is a two-part urethane, um, is that it will help lock the sand in place in between the pavers, which is excellent in prevention against, against erosion. So if you were to feel down here, you can see these things are rock solid. They're not going anywhere. And the color is definitely more vibrant than before, too. It's yes. kind, of a, a kind of a dull kind of an unfinished look before and now all the color you can see the color, the color of the paper is popping yeah and that's a big benefit of this sealer is it absolutely restores the color it gives it a little bit of a sheen uh if you want it shinier you can even do multiple coats multiple applications to give it a little bit more of a sheen um but yeah definitely all around makes the pavers look much prettier well it's awesome obviously you guys know what you're doing with uh, the paver projects uh, can you tell everybody else what your company what other services you guys provide yeah, we're a full service commercial and residential pressure cleaning company. Uh, we do everything from roofs to driveways, pool decks, house exteriors. Uh, we're actually one of the few companies that carries the insurance to do anything over three stories. So we do condos, high rises. Uh, we've done 25 story condominium complexes. Uh, so we can do it all. Uh, you can find us online at www.perfectpressurecleaning.com and you can even us call at 561-262-3125. We service pretty much from Port St. Lucie all the way down to Boyle. Fantastic. So as you guys see, you guys are covered with perfect pressure cleaning. Make sure you give Trevor and his team a call for any of your household needs. Thanks, Trevor. Appreciate it.